Multiplying fractions is really easy. All we've got to do is just multiply the top and multiply the bottom. Multiplying fractions is dead easy. Just multiply the top and the bottom. Come on now, multiplying fractions is dead easy. Just multiply the top and the bottom. Now the top is called the numerator and the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. All you've got to do is just multiply the top and multiply the bottom. So in this case we've got 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 4 is 12. This is correct. We can simplify this fraction and we can have 1 over 6. Another one we could do is something like 3 over 4 times maybe 2 over 7. All we've got to do is do 3 times 2 which is 6, 4 times 7 which is 28. Now this is correct. However, we could simplify this reducing it to 3 out of 14. Why would we do that? All we've basically done is to divide this by 2, which is to half both numbers, and we get that. We could do another example where we've got a mixed number. Maybe we have something like 2 and a quarter times 3, and maybe and a half. First thing we want to do is to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. Now we know that this is going to give us 9 over 4 because we have two lots of 4 and we have one remainder and then we times this by 3 lots of 2 plus 1 which is 7 over 2. Now we can multiply the top which is 9 times 7, 63 and now we can multiply the bottom, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. Now we all know how many lots of 8 in 63. We know 8 lots of 8 is 64. So there will be 7 lots of 8 in 63, which is 56. And we've got how many left over from 56 to 63? We should have... 56 add 7 would give us 63, so that's what we should get. Basically, all you have to do is, once you've changed this into an improper fraction, you make it for both numbers and you multiply the top and you multiply the bottom. And this is correct, but then you can simplify further, this is correct.